Hello everyone, welcome to the iNeuron channel. My name is Puneet Kansal. Today we have very, we, today we have a guest with us, Shagun, who is working as a software developer at Amazon. So we will discuss with lots of things with Shagun, okay, how she managed to crack the Amazon and we will talk, take lots of questions and uh, discuss lots of things with her. So I believe that, okay, this session will be really helpful for you people. So without wasting time, okay, let me call Shagun on the screen. Hello Shagun, welcome to iNeuron channel. Hey Puneet, hi, how are you? I'm fine, what about you? I'm doing good, thank you so much for calling me here. Yeah, okay, fine. So Shagun, will you, let's start with your introduction. Sure, yep. So my, as people already know, I'm Shagun Lamba. So I'm currently an SD at Amazon and I am a 22 like batch pass out. I graduated from Thadumal Shahani Engineering College from Mumbai with a computer engineering degree. Okay, fine. Uh, Shavun, a little bit about I mean, so your uh, school uh, schooling and all that stuff. Sure, yeah. So I did my schooling from a very basic school, uh, Kendra Vidyale. So okay. all through my life, I was in the same school, which was Kendra Vidyale in, in Mumbai. And I did my first to 12th grade from there. And then I did like four years of engineering from Thadumal Shahani Engineering College. So yep, I basically got that college through MHT CET, which is the state exam, like state entrance exam for engineering. Okay, fine. So I just want to know, okay, one thing from, uh, I, I we usually ask to everyone. So like in you, while you're schooling and while you're college time, what is the thing, uh, what is the skills you get so that, uh, uh, that actually help you to land in Amazon. Is there any skill specific thing you learn in your school or in your college, which really help you to land in this uh, product based company, Amazon? I think uh, so. If like before Amazon, I would I would say how schooling helped me to get into coding. So basically, in eleventh and twelfth grade, I took the subject of computer science as my optional subject. And that is and that is where my interest in coding programming actually spiked. So that was like one thing that got me kind of interested in this particular field. So I always knew that probably I should uh, like choose this field going forward. And once I got into engineering, um, I think I tried to explore that uh, interest of myself and I tried to take part into different things, into different activities happening in my college. And that is where I kind of got to know, okay, yeah, this is this is something that I want to do. And this is the area or the field that I want to work in my future. So that's how I got my like, uh, got my head cleared out. And uh, skills would skills came from practice. Uh, yeah, to be straightforward. Okay, fine. Great. Okay, uh, will you okay, uh, Shugan, will you please share the interview process at Amazon? Sure. So I applied to Amazon through this program, which is Amazon Wow. And I there I, I basically had three coding rounds. So in each coding round, I was asked two DSA questions and also some conceptual questions at the end of the each round. For example, I was uh, asked some conceptual question based on graphs, some conceptual question based on heaps. So yeah, these were also asked at the end of the uh, like whole coding round, uh, like coding round interview basically. And then uh, in the third round, I was also asked some HR questions, which are based on the Amazon leadership principles. Oh, will you please share with us some, some HR question at least? Will you please share with uh, some HR questions? Sure. Yeah. So basically I was asked about uh, different situations I faced while working in a team environment. How did I cope up with those? Where did I face any situation where I was working in a different tech stack that I was not aware of? How did I cope up with those situations? Um, did I have any conflict during working in a hackathon in, in a team? So yeah, those were the basically line of questions that was I was asked on. And um, yeah, that's it. So do we need to specifically prepare for the HR round also? Or we can so, directly do or we can directly sorry. directly means appear in the interview HR round at least. So I always believe like I always believe that interview is all about preparation. So I had prepared for HR round because uh, 
basically you do need to have at least few things at the back of your head that okay these were the areas that i had actually performed well during in a hackathon or in a team a event where i actually did have a conflict because these kind of situations they definitely arise and we do take some decisions on it so if if your story is real and authentic you can always show or you can always share that with your interviewer and um, so i had prepared those kind of questions not that i was asked the same questions but i was able to use my same experiences and uh, basically slightly modifying them on how they actually helped me gain value so yeah yeah okay so uh, it's it's a good idea that okay we go with some preparation yeah definitely yeah. yeah okay so uh, one more thing like uh, any question coming to your mind uh, which problem you have solved in the, in uh, coding rounds any problem which is coming to your mind right now maybe yes i yeah it's it's been a while but i do remember few questions i remember that uh, in my first round i was asked a question which was based on trees and uh, although the question was very simple like in the end i think i just had to calculate the sum of the two children basically two child nodes and compare it with the parent but it was framed in such a manner that uh, it it was not very intuitive so i had to go through the question like couple of times basically there was a concept and in that this coding problem was hidden so yeah i i basically uh, in <clears throat> right, right in front of the interviewer i went through the question two to three times i took some time i i remember that i was not able to understand the question itself in my first reading through but i told him nay i need like few more minutes i'll go through again go through and then i made sense out of it and that's how i solved it in my i remember in my second round i was asked a question which was based on heaps um it was there was also one question which was based on sorting then i in my third round uh, i was asked only one coding question which involved a concept of using map of maps uh, yeah somewhere along those lines that's how okay. you know fine great you actually shared lots of things with us okay uh, one more thing uh, can you guide us can, can you guide the students okay how to apply for the off campus in amazon so uh, amazon do not pinch uh, only go to the tier 1 and maybe tier 2 colleges so can you guide the tier 3 people okay how they can apply for the amazon yeah sure i think amazon uh, does have like few openings around through the year even for off campus folks at least that's what i have seen even after coming inside the company so all you need to do is just keep like refreshing your amazon.jobs portal so just keep re refreshing there and also reach out to folks on linkedin if they can help you with the referrals but whenever you reach out for a referral always add your job id because the if the person working would not have that much time to go and get the job id for you but if you have the job id you can basically give that and and your resume along with it and request for a referral and uh, yeah off campus there are also various drives happening i know that there there is amazon wow there was a drive happening for ml uh, which was ml driven and so on so forth so just keeping an eye out on the jobs portal like the the main amazon jobs portal like that that itself is enough okay fine so okay so one thing i want to know about the uh, life at amazon so how is the life at amazon yeah so i i understand uh, the public opinion and i understand that the experience also varies from team to team but for me personally life at amazon has been great and i always wanted to work for a tech company um which was innovation driven and amazon is exactly that innovation is so much prioritized here and learning is so much prioritized here i am often amazed by the kind of knowledge and experience our, my senior engineers have so I always look like i always try to absorb <clears throat> as much as i can while working with them and um, <clears throat> yeah I, so it's it's been good like i've had i'm i've had like i'm enjoying my time and i'm also trying to learn and also be familiar with the technology trends that are ongoing in the market and yeah for me personally it's it's been good okay uh, what i uh, uh, means uh, i have, have talked with many candidates like uh, who are uh, still working in amazon some people says that it's really means uh, the uh, working uh, and their work culture is very uh, difficult means uh, uh, lots of burden is over there is that uh, uh, happens in amazon so uh for me that actually never occurred 
even if it had occurred i always tried to manage my time efficiently folks can always manage their time and i i think people at amazon are doing that but uh, like working in a tech company there are also some expectations which you want to meet basically you want to deliver something to your customers amazon is so customer driven that they actually want to give like provide value to customers and that can have some some aggressive deadlines at times i'm not saying that that's not happening but you can always manage your time and work with your manager i think i'm like at least I, in my experience i have had a very supportive manager you can always reach out to them and and like set the expectations right there is also this working plans that that teams have and if you work on work with your manager and if you have this clear communication there shouldn't be a problem okay fine great okay uh, shagun will you please uh, uh, tell us the complete road map how anyone can prepare for the amazon means uh, he's let's suppose he, uh, anybody is in first year let's suppose he's just yeah. thinking about the these product based company so how he have to start the preparation can you please share the complete road map what anyone should follow to crack uh, amazon yeah so i'd like to share my experience and i would not like to portray that this is the best experience or the best path that one should follow every person should basically try to follow or carve out their own path but of course gain some learnings from people like me who are, who were who had been through this and learn from our mistakes that's what i would like to begin with so basically how i prepared for amazon or for any other tech company that i had set for interviews and so on and so forth was that first firstly in my second year i had started with some uh, some competitive programming just by hearing folks here and there and i heard okay there is something called as competitive programming going on and i don't know what that is and trust me i did not know anything about it i did not have solid strength on my data structures or anything but then when i heard about it when i saw that uh, like that there were also some activities organized by coding clubs in my college that's where i got to know about this thing and that's where i started to solve few questions on it and i would i would solve few questions on code forces or code shift and but even if you go and see my id there i i i was not able to solve four or five questions but i initially started with the first question which is the easiest and then two and sometimes three i, I was able to solve them out so yeah mostly second year because it also pandemic happened i was al al always trying to just try i was always trying to solve these questions and while solving them i was trying to solidify my data structures concepts that's how it started for me now in my third year when i knew that a comp companies would be coming to my college and i would have to sit for interviews and so on and so forth i decided that i also need to have some projects on my resume so i had taken part in a couple of hackathons and that's where i got my projects from and my projects were very simple but i because i had also done some projects in react react native that's what i had also used in the hackathon and that's all i put in my resume so but whatever i put i had a like a solid grip on it so so it it did not cause me any issue and even in amazon interviews because i was asked questions on react on how do like the, the basic questions or the basic concepts of react i was asked as th those as well so yep that's how third year panned out for me now then in fourth year i was able to crack an on campus company which was jp morgan so they basically had an hackathon uh, event driven hiring so where we had to work in a team of 7 to 8 people from around the country and build uh, like build something in in just uh, in 24 hours so in 24 hours they'll give you problem statement and you need to work on that so there i i we had built something on although we did not win the hackathon but i had gotten the offer as a, for like for a software developer at jp morgan now after that happened i started to look more for off campus opportunities and um, i basically explored uh, i i explored linkedin and i explored uh, more communities here and there to find openings to find something and uh, i did give some coding tests but few i was not able to clear and if you if i was able to solve i'd never got the mail back again but for amazon i think i saw that the, the amazon wow e event happening or occurring in august and i i think by july i'd already had this offer and now at this point of time i was in my fourth year so i thought okay let me just prepare for it and uh, for specifically for the first coding round i did not prepare anything concrete i was there were like some questions and 
some questions based on on hr like this this sim the simple first coding round so i gave that and then i when i got to know and i think there was another round as well for amazon wow yeah we had two coding rounds in the beginning coding test basically and after that i was cleared i had received a mail that now is when we are like trying to interview people and you had cleared the test so so on so that's when i thought okay let me prepare now exactly for this company because i know i have cleared the coding test now i need to prepare for the interview and like i said i always believe that interview is all about preparation if you know the company if you know that this is the company you are sitting for you can always go back and check the archives what are the questions that are being asked what are like what basically what are the data structures that this company tends to ask mostly not that it there, there's a chance that they might ask something else also but this is the first thing that anybody can do just go back and click uh, search on google gfg archives and add the company name that's what i also did and i used to solve like loads of questions every day loads not in the sense 20 to 30 but even 5 to 6 questions or at times 2 to 3 questions now for for me eventually the interview occurred a bit late because uh, the company was interested in hiring the interns first and because my college did not allow the 6 month internship period i decided to sit for the fte role now and that occurred like 2 to 3 months later so now by that time i had solved almost all the questions that were there on the basically on 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 google all the questions that i could find on the gfg archives and i had solved loads of questions and i was also solving few other things like parallelly i would solve something on code forces or code chef just out of uh, just for fun or something and i what i like another step that i did was that whatever i had mentioned in my in my resume i would think on how the interview would ask like interview would ask questions or to me on on basis of that for example if i had added a simple project which was completed during an hackathon i would think okay what are the possible questions the interviewer can ask me and i, and I would actually like role play and, and try to like uh, answer my questions by myself so that's how i did and i would also do one thing that every day for two questions i would basically see how i would be saying out my approaches loud to the interviewer so for example for any coding question that i have i would i would read that out loud i would say okay are these the constraint violations uh, are these the basically the constraints of the of the questions do i need to solve for this edge case or not so i would say that out loud not that anybody was sitting or taking a mock interview of mine but i would do do that by myself so that after 20 days or 30 days consciously or subconsciously i'm aware that this is how i want to solve my problem out and this is how out loud i have to say it right in front of the interviewer so this is specifically how i prepared for the three coding rounds and like i mentioned whatever was mentioned in my resume i would go back and basically uh, clean the internet out okay what all questions are there what are the basic concepts of react folks can ask and uh, um, i had also done some work in react native so i i touched base on that yeah that that's the like com- my complete in, uh, preparation strategy that i followed okay uh, that's great uh, shabun how many questions you have solved in total if we uh, can you share with us how many total questions you have solved in total i mean from all the coding platform mm-hmm. something like yes. that yes yes i think i must have solved more than 300 200 300 m- more than that definitely but okay. uh, i i'm not sure about the range it was quite back and like i said initially we started i would solve something from hacker rank and then i would solve something okay. from code forces code chef and then i tried to solve a lot of questions on gfg because i knew that by the time i knew that okay this is the company that i have to set the interview for that's why i went and and went back and solved the archives question so there okay. also i must have solved i think around 70 to 100 questions Oh, but it's not about the number just, just sorry yeah. just to read it it's not about the number it's about the logic that you develop and how okay. that helps in the end during your interviews okay uh, fine so uh, like uh, i just want uh, will you please share with us okay you already shared with your journey how you do all the stuff but okay let's suppose you get uh, a chance that okay you want to improve yourself somewhere and you want to follow some concrete path from first year you are getting the chance to follow again 
to uh, to follow this journey again so uh, what will be the path uh, which you will follow now what what will what will be the path you will suggest to the upcoming inspired that okay you have to follow this path do this thing and you will be definitely in amazon so what what would would you like to share with them yeah so firstly i think that when you are in your first year or second year you should not try to target one single company but you should try to have like your options open because in the end let's say on that particular day your interview does not go well so you should you should not be disheartened ki okay this is the only thing that i wanted being practical when you are in college you want to first get get one job and and then you know work your way throughout and also land up in your dream company so that's fair but how i would approach my journey would be that in right in my first year itself i would try to understand the data structure concepts because i had some knowledge about c c++ from my 11th 12th grade if if i i, I would also try to go ahead and and learn more about c c++ so just out of my curiosity because first i want to develop some curiosity in this field right i don't want to just go and start preparing for the job that that's not how i would think in, at least in my first year because you have time for preparing for jobs and interviews but you should also try to explore this this technical field and basically coding languages and how does system actually work internally so i also i, I did do that in my second year but yep that's how i would start that i would just explore things on the go learn c c++ and then try to go towards data structures learn what are stacks what are arrays how are sta- how stacks can be implemented through linked list what are the edge cases in linked list that could occur can i even apply linked list in 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 my any day life how can i solve this question that's how i would go and uh, yep yeah, once i have that once there is this thinking developed in my mind i would also try to learn like html or something like that like some some basic development framework so that i can take part in hackathons and one thing that i regret is that i did not take part in a lot of hackathons during my college time and my friends were doing that but probably i was not feeling confident during like first year or second year because i did i was not like strong in that so it took me a while to even participate in that but even if this is the case that you don't know anything like you don't know any web development framework or anything like even app development framework you should still try and go ahead and take part in hackathons so yeah that's something that i would try to do more <clears throat> and apart from that i would not like my preparation strategy would remain the same that i would prepare for the interview so basically what i'm trying to say is that you prepare you basically solve so so many questions that your logic is developed you are in the right mindset to know how to start solving a question it is very much possible that you might not be able to find or you might not be able to get the approach that day or, or something like that but if you are in the right mindset the interviewer would even appreciate that okay yeah this is how she started Th- these are the edge cases that she's thinking of and they also give you hints during your interview so they try to basically hold your hand and try to solve the question together so if you are in the right mindset if you approach the question in a certain like with with the right set of questions then you would be able to solve it yeah that's how so basically logic developing hackathons and then interview preparation no oh, great uh, one question okay uh, one question i'm adding from my side is that okay is the dsa how much is level of dsa is required for amazon interview means is the easy problem will work or medium or we need to prepare for the hard hard level problems i think for freshers like for full time engineers like me who were just coming right out of college we were we would only be asked medium to hard problems and not very difficult i would not say the difficulty was too high so medium to high would be like more than yeah that's the area okay fine fine will you please suggest some resources also to prepare for the amazon yeah sure so i think geeks for geeks is the best resource out there which can help you so there is also that there are also amazon archives questions there so if you really want to just prepare for amazon you can go and simply solve that that's what i did and apart from that uh like i mentioned don't try to stick for one company always try to explore your options you might you might end up working some place else so try to start this process in a generic manner and by the end when you when you know ki okay now you have an interview for this company after one week you try and go solve archives for that particular company yeah that's okay. my suggestion 
okay fine one uh, one another question is like uh, uh, is the competitive programming must to get placed in these companies like amazon and other product based companies i don't think so uh, that it's a must it's good to have it helps you develop logic it gives you confidence that you are able to solve this question and that that's it but i would not say that you you must do competitive programming but it's good to do so you basically develop logic and that logic certainly helps you so now you you know what what to do like which path to choose okay there is a one general question actually right now the uh, students are getting afraid from the like devin and ai all these tools so is this really uh, impacting you people in the industry currently no that's not it's not impacting us and ai always i think ai would always have some margin of error and i think if you have the right skills and if you also i, I also think corporate requires a lot of communication as well and so if you have the right skills right communication and soft skills you you would not have to worry about ai impacting your job that's that's for sure that, that's what i believe yeah okay fine fine shagun okay shagun one last question uh, if you any if, uh, last advice you can give to the future aspirant any last advice yeah so my advice would be like very simple uh, try solving questions try to develop that logic and it is not necessary for you to be the smartest person in the room already you can work your way throughout and you just need to keep like keep consistently solving questions and consistently developing that logic try to upskill yourself and also try to have fun in this journey getting amazon job is not everything you might also get something else but if you are really passionate about this field if you are really if once you really develop that passion for solving problems you would that would also actually help you when you end up having a career in in tech so yeah that that's how that's my advice is that just be consistent with your preparation and uh, try to also enjoy the process uh, okay uh, thanks shagun for uh, sharing your journey with us i believe that lots of student will get benefited actually uh, the students uh, uh, they have the capability just they don't think they don't believe to themselves i believe that okay after watching to shagun and after listening you they will start believing that okay we can also do the same thing and uh, we can also get placed in this product based company thanks shagun for joining us and sharing your journey with us so sure. thank you puneet thank you for inviting me and uh, yeah if i can do it anybody can do it so i yes. i hope people take something out of this and they work hard and land up in companies like amazon and and others yeah definitely thank you thank you shagun for joining us thank you puneet thank you okay uh, uh so if you people uh, want uh, like this session please give a thumbs up and uh, if you want more these type of sessions uh, please write in the comment any type of session you can mention in the comment section and uh, we will try to come up with these type of sessions if you want uh, any co specific questions and you can immediately ask in the comment shagun might uh, can also answer that Yeah. After this video, if you are watching it, you can ask the question over there. Otherwise, bye bye. Take care. We will come up next week with the new session. I believe that uh, this will really will help you people. Bye bye. Take care.